Hey guys, welcome back to another quick Premiere Pro tutorial. In today's video, we are talking about how to turn your footage into black and white for your edit. As you can see, I've already thrown a couple of clips down here into my timeline. They are all in color right now. So the quickest and easiest way to turn these into black and white is to go up here to your effects panel. If you don't see the effects panel on your window, make sure you come up here to window and make sure that effect controls and effects are both checked over here. So we'll go back over to effects. We're going to open up video effects and down here to image control and you'll see black and white is the first one that pops up. So make sure that the clip you wanna change is selected and you can either double click on the effect I'm gonna undo that, or you can drag it down to that clip that you want to be black and white. I'm gonna undo that once more. If you want multiple clips to become black and white at one time, you can simply drag your mouse over them to select which ones you want. And then again, you can either double click on that effect or you can drag it down and that will make all those selected clips black and white. So that was super quick and easy. That's the most basic way to turn your footage into black and white. Let's talk a little bit more about, now that we've done that, how can we make this footage look exactly how we might want it to look? So I wanna make sure again over here that your Lumetri color window is open. If you don't see this window, go back up here to window and make sure that Lumetri color is selected. Since we added that black and white effect on there, um, we can simply change some of the selections in here to make our footage look exactly how we want it to look. So let me, let me drag this over and make it look a little bit bigger so we can see here. The first thing that we always wanna make sure on all of our clips is that our exposure is correct. Make sure under basic correction that you've opened up the tone window right there and you'll see exposure. So here is where you can make sure that you are not underexposed or not overexposed. In all these clips, it looks like our exposure is fine. So I'm gonna leave that as is. The next element that you probably do wanna change is contrast. Contrast is basically how dark are your blacks and how white are your whites. So the higher you go with contrast, as you can see, our blacks are getting darker and our whites are getting whiter. If you go down on contrast, you'll see the opposite effect. It becomes a lot more gray. So you can play around with those two bars and figure out exactly how you want your footage to look. If you want it to have a lot of contrast or a little bit of contrast. There's another style that I see a lot these days. It sort of has a matte finish to it and I like it. It looks, um, a little bit more like film, maybe a little bit more cinematic, depending on what you're going for. So let's talk about how to achieve that more matte finish. So basically the manual way that you can do this is to bring your whites down, make them a little bit more gray and bring your blacks up a little bit. And you really can just kind of eyeball this until you get it the way that you like it. It kind of has that film fade look to it. And that is exactly what this effect is called. So if you want another quick way to add that effect on, you can go down here to creative under Lumetri effects, sorry, under Lumetri color, and you'll see that under adjustments, it's that first option for faded film. So let's go back over to one of these clips and we'll adjust the faded film. And you can see it kind of has that same look as this clip that we did manually. It really makes your blues a little bit more gray and your whites a little bit more gray as well. So it just crunches those black and whites down, gives you less contrast, but you don't lose a ton of detail. Um, and that's kind of a popular look. So you can decide, I tend to like to be more in control of how things are looking. So I like to do the first method. Um, more, but you can also do it very quickly using the film fade effect. So I'm actually going to undo what we just did on both of those and bring them back to um, their original look. I want to show you very quickly here what I think is the best way to edit an entire timeline with color. This might seem a little bit more involved or complicated than the first way that we edited our clips. And if you just have one or two clips, that's a great way to do it. But if you have a ton of clips and you want them all to be in black and white, this is the best way to do it. What we're gonna do is make an adjustment layer. So we're gonna go um, right click on your project window, select new item, 
and click adjustment layer and you can just hit okay and here we're going to say black and white color and we're going to drag this adjustment layer anywhere on top of the footage that you want to turn to black and white so i already have this as black and white so i'm just going to go through really quick and take that off of these clips so you can see them back in color and you can see even as i'm going through here i have to go through clip by clip and make changes so this is the whole purpose of using an adjustment layer we're going to put our effect on this adjustment layer so that we don't have to worry about touching every single clip down here every time that you make a change on the adjustment layer it's like a piece of glass and anything that under anything that lies underneath that adjustment layer will take on the effect that you give the adjustment layer so if you put black and white on your adjustment layer here same way we did before make sure it's selected go up to effects video effects image control double click on black and white now you can see every piece of footage that's underneath that adjustment layer has turned black and white and likewise if we go in and want to style that black and white let's say we go over here and we do the same thing and we bring down our whites a little bit and we bring our blacks up a little bit instead of that just taking place on that clip that you see right now it's actually taking place under every single clip that's under our adjustment layer so it saves you a lot of time as you can see because you don't have to copy and paste that same effect on every single clip um, which can just save you a ton of time it also makes your film look more cohesive because you know that that effect is going to be uniform throughout and that's it you can see this is really a pretty simple and easy effect to use i hope you guys have enjoyed it um, leave me comments below if you have any further questions thanks for watching